a very good morning to all the HHL community members. सबको नमस्कार आप सभी का स्वागत है आज के मंथली मीटिंग में हम आज एक नया टॉपिक इंट्रोड्यूस करेंगे एंटीऑक्सीडेंट्स जो कि बहुत ही इंपॉर्टेंट है हमारे हेल्थ के लिए और इसके इम्पोर्टेंस uh, के ऊपर और इसके बारे में चर्चा करने के लिए हमारे साथ डॉक्टर श्वेतल परिक जुड़ी है श्वेतल मैम मैं आपका स्वागत करता हूं आज के मंथली मीटिंग में एंड आई जस्ट लाइक टू गिव अ शॉर्ट इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ श्वेतल मैम शी इज अ एम डी डॉक्टर एंड शी इज द एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर पीडियट्रिक्स द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ पीडियट्रिक्स इन बड़ोड़ा मेडिकल कॉलेज Uh, she has a 23 years of uh, undergraduate and postgraduate teaching experience she has a special interest in neonatology iycf lactation management human milk banking medical education and nephrology uh, she has also received a gold medal paper award as mentor at nnf national conference 2022 श्वेतल मैम मैं आपका स्वागत करता हूं और आपसे रिक्वेस्ट करता हूं कि आप अपना प्रेजेंटेशन शुरू करें ओवर टू यू मैम थैंक यू सो मच रविश भाई थैंक यू फॉर गिविंग मी दिस प्लेटफॉर्म जस्ट आई टेक सम टाइम टू शेयर माय स्क्रीन श्योर गुड मॉर्निंग वन एंड ऑल फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल थैंक यू सो मच डॉक्टर भरत भाई एंड द एंटायर निशोगुप्चर फैमिली टू गिव मी दिस प्लेटफॉर्म Uh, to share my views on antioxidants uh, me being a pediatrician uh, and not a nutritionist uh, with this uh, opportunity i also got a uh, like chance to review the and uh, research the different articles of antioxidants and what exactly they are uh, because uh, see ame uh, pan as an mbbs student the medium of mind will be in hindi gujarati and english so uh, we as a, a medical student also learn nutrition biochemical aspects uh, during our uh, formative years of first and second mbbs thereafter most of the time we have to do a clinical application so this buzz of anti antioxidants uh, as uh, you'll go through the slides it started in 1990 when i was a young uh, medical student so that time Uh, there was like chemical supplementations clinical trial this were the in thing and too much trendy and uh, those who come from us no e apna mate multivitamin ni bottle lai aave you don't take antioxidants oh vs us ma to western world ma to there is a we, everyone is popping up a pill there is an antioxidants and supplements has to be taken so that time also there was a curiosity ki what is there which is made there and like why people are asking from the western world so this uh, with this uh, in opportunity of get uh, i could review all these things in depth again and one more thing i want to share that uh, uh, being a pediatrician nutrition is the most important aspect for our patients growth and development because it is one of the core area of pediatrics so uh, we have to uh, i have a detailed clinical trials as well as research and learning on nutrition and in our department we have a state of art nutritional rehabilitation center for the uh, 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 children so in this context we are always connected with the our very rich uh, one of the department of ms university that is a nutrition department food and nutrition department is one of the best department of our ms university so i have a contact with that consultants also and we keep on doing the research for that nutritional aspect with this uh, some of my experience i would like to go ahead with this uh, topic of antioxidants so pehle to hum dekhte ki antioxidants hai kya <clears throat> to antioxidants jo naturally available hai they are never risking your health they are always rewarding your health but what i said naturally available so what are these antioxidants to main hindi mein batau ki antioxidants yani jo apne पूरे शरीर में एक केमिकल रिएक्शंस सेल मेटाबॉलिज्म चलता रहता है हम बैठे भी हैं तो भी अपने सेल्स तो काम करते हैं अगर हमने सेवंथ एट स्टैंडर्ड में अपने बच्चे को पढ़ाया या हमने पढ़ा है तो वी से के सेल इज अ बेसिक यूनिट ऑफ लाइफ राइट तो वो सेल क्या है तो उसमें गोलगी एपरेटस है माइटोकॉन्ड्रिया है वो डिफरेंट डिफरेंट छोटे छोटे स्ट्रक्चर होते हैं एक छोटे से सेल में ऐसे मिलियंस ऑफ सेल अपने बॉडी में है 
अच्छा तो ये जो माइटोकॉन्ड्रिया है अगर आपको याद है तो हम उसको पावर हाउस बोलते थे है ना अभी भी हम कहीं ना कहीं पावर हाउस ऑफ द बॉडी इज अ माइटोकॉन्ड्रिया वेर द डिफरेंट ऑक्स मेटाबोलिज्म टेक प्लेस फूड एक बार लिया तो उसको डाइजेस्ट करना है उसको डाइजेस्ट करने के बाद उसका न्यूट्रिय सेपरेट आउट होते हैं और एक न्यूट्रिएंट एक स्पेसिफिक जगह पे उसका यूटिलाइजेशन होता है तो वो जो केमिकल प्रोसेस चलता है उस केमिकल प्रोसेस में लाइक like हर एक केमिकल प्रोसेस में देर आर बाई प्रोडक्ट्स राइट सब जगह अगर आप इवन फैक्ट्रीज uh, में भी देखते हो कि बाई प्रोडक्ट्स होते हैं और हम निस्तोचर में एनवायरमेंट की बात करते हैं तो हमने बात किया हुआ है अमित जी ने बात किया है कि भाई एनवायरमेंट में ये जो बाय प्रोडक्ट्स हैं दस हैज टू बी सेफली डिस्पर्स उसको डंप नहीं करना है एनवायरमेंट में ये हमने अपने एनवायरमेंट वाले या जो सेशन था उस पर डिस्कस किया था तो सिमिलरली इन द बॉडी सेम थिंग्स आर गोइंग ऑन तो जब बाय ये केमिकल रिएक्शंस होते हैं तो बाय प्रोडक्ट होता है उसको बोलते हैं फ्री रेडिकल ये फ्री रेडिकल सेल मेटाबोलिज्म में ड्यूरिंग द सेल मेटाबोलिज्म दे आर जनरेटेड एंड दे आर जनरेटेड बिकॉज ऑफ सर्टन लाइफ स्टाइल फैक्टर्स लाइक एयर पॉल्यूशन स्मोक अल्कोहल इनटेक ओवर चार्ड फूड फूड जितना कुक uh, होना चाहिए उससे ज्यादा अगर कुक हो गया है तो ओवर चार्ड फूड कॉन्स्टेंट इफ देर इज अ स्ट्रेस इन द माइंड और अ बॉडी और देर इज एन एक्सपोजर टू पॉल्यूनेट लाइक पेस्टिसाइड मोल्ड बिकॉज टूडे वॉट वी डू मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम द फूड आर इन द मॉल्स फॉर आर्स टू गैदर दे आर लाइंग इन द मॉल्स विच विच टेम्परेचर विच वी डोंट नो टू हैव मोर फार्मिंग प्रोडक्ट पेस्टिसाइड आर यूज रेडिएशन एक्सपोजर्स होता है अल्ट्रासाउंड एक्स रेस लाइक विद कोविड आई एम रियली वेरी वर इट की कितना बदा जनाए सीटी स्कैन कराए हो से कितना बदा जनाए एक्स रे कराए हो से राइट सो दीज आर द एनवायरमेंटल फैक्टर्स स्मोक इनहेलेशन सिगरेट स्मोकिंग ऑटोमोबाइल एक्सॉर्ट लाइक पिंकी जी सेट वेरी नाइसली कि स्लो ट्रेवल एज मच एज पॉसिबल यूज द ट्रेवल मीडियम विच इज साइकल विच इज वॉकिंग एंड एक्सप्लोर द वर्ल्ड विद लोस्ट ट्रेवल मीडियम सो विद दिस स्ट्रेस इट क्रिएट्स ऑक्सीडेटिव स्ट्रेस इन द बॉडी एंड दिस वॉट आर दे दिस फ्री रेडिकल इंजरीज फ्री रेडिकल इटले इफ अपने केमिस्ट्री थोड़ू याद हो तो प्लस थ्री लाइक जेने हजी डोनर इलेक्ट्रॉन की जरूर है एक फरी रो पड़ी में राइट एक आप कही एक, एक फरी रो हो तो एना करता है कंपनी मिली जाए तो ये सेटल थी जाए तो सीमिलरली देट मॉलिक्यूल इज अ मॉलिक्यूल विच इज फ्री रेडिकल एने डोलर डोनर इलेक्ट्रॉन की जरूर है अच्छा ये फ्री रेडिकल करे शू तो ये फ्री रेडिकल है दे इट गिवस इट लीड्स टू अ सेल डेमेज हाउ तो इट डेमेज इज द डीएनए ऑफ द सेल सेल अंदर जो क्रोमेटिन द मटीरियल इन द सेल अ जेनेटिक मटीरियल इज देर विच इज नोन एज डीएनए एंड आर एन ए तो दिस फ्री रेडिकल डेमेज इज द डीएनए एंड दिस इंटरेक्शन बिट्वीन द फ्री रेडिकल एंड द बॉडी इज नोन एज आज डेमेज करे एने ऑक्सीडेटिव स्ट्रेस कहे सो वॉट डज दिस एंटी ऑक्सीडेंट डज एंटीऑक्सीडेंट इज नॉट ए वन वन फूड और इट इज अ केमिकल प्रॉपर्टी एंड इट इज नॉट दैट ऑलवेज दैट फूड विल एक्ट एज अ केमिकल प्रॉपर्टी इट रिक्वायर्स एन एनवायरमेंट सो एंटी ऑक्सीडेंट डोनर्स द डोनेट्स दैट फ्री रेडिकल ने न्यूट्रलाइज करने इट डोनेट्स इट्स ओन इलेक्ट्रॉन एंड इट हेल्प्स इन प्रिवेंटिंग द सेल डेमेज इनडायरेक्टली इट रिड्यूजेज द रिस्क ऑफ क्रॉनिक डिजीजेस बिकॉज they negate those free radicals causing harm or havoc to our cells no uh, so uh, like you must have heard ke aa ba ke aa dada che aakhi jindi kashu bahar nu we have always in ke kabhi kuch bahar ka khana nahi khaya itna acha unka uh, lifestyle tha fir bhi at the like he had a, a colon carcinoma or he had uh, some there is a hypertension running in the family or there is a diabetes running in the family so it is the it is a, a, this what this happens we always have no why there is diabetes in the family why there is a hypertension in the family so that is because of one of the reason is it is the lifestyle 
it is the antioxidant uh, lacking or the oxidative stress in the body that leads to a cell damage dna uh, damage and a new form of lifestyle disorders pop up and that runs in the family and then we say oh it to in our genes match no it is not in the genes it is created in the genes mm-hmm. and uh, the sometimes what happens the generations the family same food kai che same environment is there and so we feel that it is genetic essential hypertension is genetic no essential hypertension is not genetic diabetes is not genetic we modify our genes because of this oxidative stress and lifestyle pattern so the word antioxidant is sometimes a misleading as i said it is a chemical property uh, the antioxidant act as a electron donor so every time a same antioxidant will act as electron donor may not happen it is a different chemical situations and the biggest misconception is ke okay okay aaj aaj maine bahut sare amle kha liye to mera antioxidant quota khatam ho gaya nahi aisa nahi hota there is nothing like antioxidant quota from a one thing each and every substance which has a antioxidants in a food is required so it is not that ki okay aaj maine bahut sara cycling kar liya then my uh, muscle resistant exercise if i don't do it's okay no there is a cardio there is a uh, muscle resistant there is a combination of health right similarly there is a combination of foods which give rise to an antioxidant properties and which helps the body in uh, healing the day to day damages that occurs because of the metabolism so there is no single it is a whole crowd whole network who is working so no single food can act as an antioxidant uh, this buzz of antioxidant started uh, as a research and uh, in 1990s and previously it was there but not in an uh, like a trend mode or a buzz mode so why did it started it started that by this atherosclerosis is happening why the cancers are happening there is no history in the family and why it suddenly popped up why there are uh, vision changes with the age so oh, this why the aging is happening uh, and then this uh, antioxidant stress and oxidative oxidative stress theory came up and how it can be neutralized so let's see what happens to the health it is as such a process of aging but with a fast life with a more and more industrialization uh, more and more change in the ancient pattern of living uh, the development this uh, the health related issues are like now it is an epidemic of that epidemic of non infectious condition usko uh, what we say non communicable diseases till then previously in before that era we have a communicable diseases we had less of us lifestyle disorders so this was a research topic and the oxidative stress and aging process came up the loss is efficiency makes us more susceptible see cellular dysfunctions because of the oxidative stress damage to the dna make us more susceptible to the uh, the, uh, the uh, more fasting of the aging process you have seen that with the nowadays like a very young uh, uh, even the students of 7th 8th standards are g- having a graying of health if you have observed right and uh, like the obesity has so much increased even in the like me being again a pediatrician i would look at my whatever the population i am catering so with the covid we have a surge of obesity in the uh, pediatric population especially the adolescent health uh, their risk taking behavior also we are observing the smoking and uh, their uh, like screen time it is one of the biggest issue uh, now the days the parents are facing the screen time is too much even it is why do we talk about the pediatric our own screen time is more right so these uh, led lights are having effect on our cell metabolism and so the certain disorders are known as lifestyle disorders are class like uh, the cancer cardiovascular disease uh, diabetes hypertension atherosclerosis i disease like age related macular degeneration cataract cataract nowadays like uh, 35 40 years also we see a cataract and uh, if we talk to our grandparents or uh, the uh, uh, the elder generations sometimes uh, we know 
दैट सम ऑफ वो बात तो उनको तो 74 तक कुछ कहते वो खुद देर वॉज नो विजन इश्यूज so one of the like then it becomes an anecdotal word because the epidemic of the lifestyle lifestyle disorder is increasing so that will be an anecdote oh that is a rare condition ki unko abhi tak cataract nahi aaya ki abhi unko hypertension nahi hua like i can proudly say both of my in laws are at 83 also they don't have any uh, health issues so the what is the lifestyle which makes the oxidative stress the the our lifestyle uh, industrialization um the food uh preservatives added in the food or we are not having a fresh foods more of a use of refrigerator so this chemical reactions are happening because of the uh, change in the fast lifestyle and many factors are there what they lead inflammatory bowel disease arthritis alzheimers parkinson uh, before uh, like some time uh, suddenly there is a popping up of if we say movement disorders and parkinsonism uh, before that like Uh, 70 plus 80 plus we had less pa- patients of parkinsonism we had let, uh, less patients of movement disorders but day by day the patients of parkinsonism movement disorders neurological conditions are increasing that may be the life expectancy has already also increased it may be multifactorial right it is not only one thing which i want to say but now the research is that ki this oxidative stress also because of the lifestyle because of the modifications the it is one of the factor what aging the life expectancy has increased because of the medical uh, facilities availability but the quality of the life there is a difference if i have an hypertension at the age of 30 and i can live up to 80 90 no issue but with the medical support the the life without health disease is if you start that research or a survey a simple survey a simple uh, just uh, experience sharing among the family members if we see has come down drastically most of them even if it is a young or it is an 80 years there are some lifestyle uh, changes happening in the family in the community in the environment uh, fully healthy people we need uh, is very rare to find out nowadays right so these are because of the one of the factor is the oxidative stress so till now what is antioxidant what does it does to our body that we have discussed now now, now let us see what how we can overcome that and overcome with our lifestyle with our diet major is the in antioxidants i have uh, done an extensive research uh, lifestyle modification is required and the main component is the food so let us see how the diet helps god has made our body very beautifully these oxidative stress are taken care by our body by naturally producing some of the antioxidants right but with the god created we also created a counter environment of industrialization our habits uh, that computer expo- uh, exposure screen time exposure uh preservative food exposures uh, not freshly cooked food uh busy lifestyle hurried meals like uh, they say um they say uh, one of the word which i have read that uh, uh, like instead of sitting and eating uh, you grab a sandwich you no know, take away mcdonalds what is this take away mcdonalds if you have uh, come across this word so you uh, no no there was too uh, we were too busy we have to move okay. ahead so i'll take away mcdonald's and have my breakfast during the travel that uh, young gen uh, we have frequently we hear that yeah uh, so uh, this mcdonald if we know i don't point out any uh, food chain but uh, that just came uh, spontaneously in my mind it may be something else also so the tikkis are made i don't know when the buns are made when they are and this is a very cold at uh, it is kept in the deep freezers then suddenly they are uh, like um, suddenly they goes uh, this tikkis which are in the deep freezers now they go to a microwave at a very high temperature and we said a charred food so the same thing uh, we say the barbecues right that is again a charred food we have very so at what till what extent we have to uh, cook them 
that limit we have to uh, set uh, when we uh, go to the restaurants. Um, the, we don't know which uh, how which type of chef they are. Either they are a trained uh, qualified chef or just an experienced chef. What are the educations level? What are the people handling the food? Uh, to hire a chief manpower, the, we, uh, the restaurant uh, running, uh, they have not checked their uh, knowledge, their hygiene habits. So these all uh, are one of the culprits for our oxidative stress. So how do we can overcome that? So there are thousands of probable foods available. Uh, like uh, one article I researched in the National Journal of uh, Nutrition, there uh, they said that they have identified 3100 food items with the uh, uh, antioxidant properties. So, um, and most of the most common and most familiar with you all is vitamin C, vitamin E, beta carotene, uh, minerals that selenium, manganese, uh, glutathione is one of the buzz the, these days. Uh, used in this beauty products, uh, coenzyme, lipolic, flavonoids, phenols and polyphenols. So these are the basic phytoestrogens. Now, uh, as I know, as a layman, you will be asking me, hey, ma'am, carotids, the tablets. No, we don't have to take the, uh, like, that's my personal opinion. So being a medical person, I always say, okay, um, supplements uh, are to be very cautiously taken only on the recommendation of the medical practitioners. It is an NRI season. Uh, also, the BAPS program is going on. So many NRIs are coming. So many friends are coming. I have a supplement ka bottle. Le aana. Vitamin B12 ka bottle. Le aana. This is very common, especially in the Gujarati families, which I belong. I see that. And I always wonder, like, uh, before 10 years, it came to my, uh, my uh, family. Get one of my uh, buaji gifted to my mother-in-law. And then uh, she started popping up. So I said, why you are taking mommy this thing? You don't require this. Uh, there are so much food items naturally occurring that can give us this type of supplements. So uh, from there also, again, as I said, my curiosity for the supplements increased. Uh, but then over a period of time, while talking and experience sharing uh, while, uh, with the nutrition specialist, I came to know that natural art antioxidants are more preferable rather than the supplements. So what are they? The vitamin C, um, we have done a lot of nutrition. Uh, HLH has done sessions on the nutrition. So we know what are the natural uh, nutritions like broccoli, Brussels, sprouts, uh, uh, sweet potato, bell peppers, tomatoes, citrus fruits, right? Same vitamin E. So... Uh, uh, Recently, no, we, uh, many of you have, your first time must have gone on the avocado. The avocado is the greatest uh, superfood just now. But then I said, why only avocado? Why can't that papaya also give that the same effect? Why do we need to go to uh, buy the expensive stuff? So as uh, Modi ji says, and even I also follow, local is, uh, let's make it local vocal. Okay. So uh, only uh, pick up those items which are easily available in your nearby uh, areas. Don't go for the too uh, expensive uh, hi-fi items. Like uh, dengue is also one of, the, dengue is also now, since like uh, July um, we are facing so many cases of dengue this year, right? And so the kiwi prices shoot ups. People feel that kiwi kawati, it's not only, it's a vitamin C in the kiwi, which is rich in uh, jamfal or uh, which is rich in the uh, amla which is rich in any citrus food available locally. So we don't need to go behind the kiwi if it is not available or if it is too expensive. And uh, the thing which is too expensive, that means it is not local. It is somewhere transported somewhere else. So we are adding to that transport what Pinky G says, no? Eat local so that the transport uh, and we are adding to the environment uh, pollutions. So vitamin E, beta carotene, carrot, Highly available, everywhere it is available. Okay, so uh, if the word cantaloupe is new for someone, then don't go into that word at all. Don't start Googling what is cantaloupe. It's good that we have mangoes, we have grapefruits, we have bell peppers. Similarly, selenium. Madam ne selenium dala. Selenium kaha se milega? It's a very minute micronutrient. 
and one more thing i want to share that why do i accepted uh, uh, the invitation of bharat bhai of uh, okay i can do on antioxidants because uh, we uh, we uh, study and i presented a seminar long back on micronutrients so macros are you know the carbohydrates proteins and lipids the micros which is the body requires them in a very mi- minute quantity but if we don't take in a minute quantity the disease are major right so micronutrients are very essential and there are a list of micronutrients among that selenium adds also an antioxidant property this vitamins are also micronutrients there are so many minerals which are micronutrients so what is selenium selenium is one of the micronutrient and which is available in vegetables brown rice onions and uh, these are also available in a non vegetarian foods uh, me being a vegetarian and promoting a plant based food i haven't uh, taken any non vegetarian item in the presentations uh, because i am not sure about their real properties once i am sure i would have definitely shared because to have a different cultural practice food practice is a uh, there uh, is a uh, like a right of the people if i go to bengal if i go to kolkata yeah fish is the major food because of their environment their pattern their uh, the tradition and it has its nutritive value also but uh, plant uh, the re- recent uh, research or the if i don't talk about only recent research the research or the ancient practices says that plant based food has a maximum benefit on the health so i haven't uh, too much uh, research on the uh, non vegetarian items uh, zinc sesame tal as soon as the uh, okay why there is tradition of chickies in january right if we uh, just retrospect or we just think why there are different food tradition in the different geographical areas so these are also though there was a very rich science in the ancient or a traditional practices which we need to why why when we ask why question it is not always necessary that our future uh, the previous generation should answer that question we should answer we should uh, go into the details of that and we can find out answer so see some that is the till to january months we have uh, uttrayan in the, uh, everywhere and we like even in maharashtra till gul bol gul gul uh, year till gul khao gul gul bol so these are the tradition tal has a antioxidant property right if we make it a tradition the poorest man also will purchase and uh, uh, eat as because it is a tradition if we we will share that as a tradition in a maharashtra uh, the haldi kumkum ceremony will start in the january months so they share til gur jaggery and til and uh, they uh, uh, say each other that we should have a brotherhood or we should have a like harmony between each other similarly in the gujarat uttrayan we have a festival of uh, donation like we keep on uh, we donate uh, clothes we donate food items and that is a specific chickies chickies made up of the uh, seeds which are rich in good t- uh, oils and these oils we have discussed with i think nimesh bhai regarding the oils right in our hlh session so these oils and this is a harvesting season of this oil right telibia if you see the roads of baroda i yesterday i went to devgarh baria for one of the mentoring visit and as i said on the highways there is a big uh, what i said ke um, makfali no dhaglo che everywhere you see that uh, groundnut is available groundnuts is like so many uh, the groundnut in a uh, form with which are covering apne ne makfali kahiye right not that uh, groundnut available in the malls so that natural groundnuts are available and why how we eat that bafi ne ke sheki ne what we do that uh, groundnuts with the uh, coat uh, with the covering we used to boil with the uh, uh, like salt uh, and give it to the kids to that is a rich it is a protein the coverings are very important we never cook with the coverings right we uh, the we peel off the covering of the potato we peel off the covering of the uh, the sweet potato but the coverings are very important uh, well, like we have a nutritional rehabilitation center so we get uh, daily we have to purchase vegetables so one of my nutritionist says ma'am jo aap wo ko ye jo flower ki dandiya aap fek dete ho na 
उसमें तो कॉलीफ्लावर की डंडिया उसमें तो मैक्सिमम मिनरल्स होते हैं उसकी भी तो अपना सब्जी बना सकते हो या फिर आप जो कैबेज के सारे पत्ते अच्छे नहीं है अंदर से जाके वो छोटा सा कैबेज निकालते हो बट मैक्सिमम न्यूट्रिएंट मैक्सिमम एंटीऑक्सीडेंट्स आर अवेलेबल इन दैट कैबेज लीव्स राइट एंड टू कुक विद द पील्स और टू ईट विद द पील्स एप्पल चीकू पीपल ईट विद बाय पीलिंग ऑफ नो नीड टू पील ऑफ दैट गुड वॉशिंग इज रिक्वायर्ड इवन द बनाना पील हैज सच अ गुड बेनिफिट दैट दे आर यू इट इज यूज एज अ स्किन प्रोडक्ट so these are the components which has a rich minerals and uh, my, uh, micronutrients which have an antioxidant properties so their chemical substance now what are and scientists started scientists started that acha uh, ye antioxidants ye sare foods mein par uska chemical compound kaun sa hai unhone wo dhoond liya aur uske fir chemical compound ko laboratory mein bana diya aur wo pills ho gaye wo supplements ho gaya but it won't have an exact property which is there in the natural food why that we will see later on we let us complete the list of this antioxidants for your dietary sources because at the end of the this session no one two three point if key point i have to take i am not going to go in the detail of this uh, what is cell metabolism or what other what are there age related disease but i am very much interested as a one of the hlh participants that okay kaun se dietary sources hai so what i have to eat madam wo bata do na kitna amla khana hai kitna apple khana hai itna lamba kyu khichna hai hai na as a layman or as, as a apne ko we are in that only so what are the dietary sources apple berries um, we take tea with milk right but black tea has a more antioxidant property black coffee has a more as soon as you add tea no as soon as you add milk the property changes garlic onion bell pepper carrot oranges right uh, there are some of the uh, non vegetarian foods also that is salmon shrimp cauliflower coconut whole grains whole grains yes we learnt in hlh whole grains has a more more you uh, process them the nutrient are lost सिंपल थिंग लेट एस अंडरस्टैंड वन थिंग कोई भी खाने की चीज है जो नेचुरली अवेलेबल है और उसको अगर प्रोसेस करना शुरू किया तो उसका नेचुरल इनग्रेडियंट लॉस होते जाते हैं सेम दूध को हमने बार बार उबाला नेचुरल इनग्रेडियंट्स लॉस होते हैं पाइन एप्पल को हमने बारबेक्यू करके खाया नेचुरल इनग्रेडियंट्स लॉस होते हैं ठीक है बट सम ऑफ द uh food components really requires the co- uh, cooking and the cooking uh, uh, i think we have shared in the hlh sessions also the different cooking process it should not be go too high temperature very rapidly that is the main thing or it should not have too much other ingredients which has a chemical reaction and which losses the uh, uh, nutrient values so green leafy vegetables nuts seeds hum nuts ko kaise khate hai hai na वो उसको स्टार्टर बना के रखा है विद द ड्रिंक्स उसको मैं काफी सारा सॉल्ट डाल दिया और वो चखना सॉल्ट डाल के खाते हैं है ना विद द विंटर सीजन इट इज वेरी कॉमन सो दैट सॉल्ट इज नाउ डैमेजिंग तो नट्स की खुद की जो प्रॉपर्टी थी वो तो उड़ गई उसकी बिकॉज इट इज अ माइक्रो न्यूट्रिय वॉट वी वॉन्ट एज एन एंटी ऑक्सीडेंट और जो सॉल्ट की प्रॉपर्टी थी सो दी <coughs> we only create the demons of the nutrition by changing their prop- <coughs> cooking by our cooking habits to what it come up what is the recommendation madam recommendation bata do na itna sara kya to chalo recommendation so <coughs> we as a pediatrician uh, tell our parents ki rainbow diet khilao apne bachcho ko to why ko bachcho ko hi kyun bachcho ko isliye zyada zaruri hai unka ye growth phase hai na exponential growth phase of the life hai na it could be a infant it could be a toddler it could be an adolescent jo growing hai kabhi kabhi apne paas to mere paas toddlers aate aunty maine aaj ye itna itna hi khaya fir bhi mera weight bad raha hai hai na because it's a growth phase of the life i say ki no khane se nahi bad raha hai you need to just modify your diet instead of taking a one burger <coughs> take a lot of vegetables take a good salad so we need to uh, so why only the pediatric oxidative stress 
सेल मेटाबोलिज्म सेल्युलर इंजरीज ये तो एडल्ट को भी होता है तो वाई कंट बी एडोप्ट रेनबो डाइट इन एन एंटायर एज ग्रुप ऑफ ह्यूमन बींग्स एंड सी वॉट इज दिस रेनबो डायट सो वी एक्सप्लेन ऑल कलरफुल fruits nuts vegetables fruits and herbs spices available in a natural form to aap hamesha ye dekho aapko plate ke char part kar do if you have seen somewhere in the plate method mein uh, that you divide your plate in a four uh, parts and then divide where are the pulses where are the whole grains where are the vegetables where are the fruits <coughs> where are the different नेचुरल ड्रिंक्स अवेलेबल कोकोनट वाटर है कलर्स क्या है आज मैंने कौन से कलर का ज्यादा खाया दैट चेंजेस अवर एक्सक्रेटरी प्रोडक्ट्स आल्सो एक बार एक बच्चे की मम्मी दौड़ के आई उसका यूरिन येलो रेड हो रहा है देन लाइक द बेबी वाज द चाइल्ड वाज हेलन हार्टी व्हाट वाज द रीजन देन मदर वाज लाइक वो स्कूल में कैंप में गया था फिर वहां से आया उसके बाद तो Uh, he came and it the complaint because it was a toddler mother could see ki bhai urine red ho raha hai theek hai otherwise no one will able to like the adult you are not at all observing so in that case the color what then while inquiring the history instead of going into the investigation mode as a doctor is what will happen like tak 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 ye ye aapke urine ke investigation karwa ke aao just go in the detail of history and i went into the detail of history acha beta kya khaya tha kahan gaye the मजा आया बहुत मजा आया कैंप में क्या किया अपने कैंप में तो देन ही केम अप विद द आंसर आंटी वो वो वाला फूड था ना फ्रूट था वो वाली सब्जी थी वो वाला फ्रूट था वो मुझे बहुत अच्छा लगा तो बीट रूट एंड आई हैड अ लॉट ऑफ सलाड सो दिस हैव इम्पैक्ट ऑन अवर एक्सक्रेटिव प्रोडक्ट ऑल्सो दैट जस्ट आई वॉन्टेड टू से साइड टॉक वॉट अवर मेन टॉक वॉज दैट वी शुड है रेनबो डाय ऑल कलर्स ऑफ वेजिटेबल्स फ्रूट whole greens herbs spices with a minimum cooking should be included in our diet and that is the for me there is the only and only way of adding antioxidants to the body and delaying our aging delaying our uh, no, preventing our lifestyle disorders and having a healthy lifestyle a healthy life with a disease free healthy life uh, one more thing i want to i said that they work as a crowd or as a group it is a network no single food is a super food this word just to include a terminology of super food i have kept this one that people are coming up avocado is a super food sattu is a super food sattu is very good i don't deny that chane ko shake ke jo hum chane nahi kha pate wo uska powder sattu is right it is good but नो वन फूड कैन अ सुपर फूड ठीक है तो फिर आप बोलोगे इंस्टेड ऑफ मैडम एक आंवला मुझे बहुत खट्टा लग रहा है उससे अच्छा एक आंवले में से मुझे एटी मिलीग्राम विटामिन सी मिल रहा है उससे अच्छा मैं फाइव हंड्रेड मिलीग्राम विटामिन सी का टेबलेट ले लू सो दैट विल बी यू विल आस्क मी आई से नो वाई वाई आई से नो फॉर दैट बिकॉज इट इज नॉट ओनली द आंवला एंड विटामिन सी और स्ट्रॉबेरी एंड विटामिन सी but along with vitamin c there is pro uh, there are other substance also polyphenols also or there are flavonoids also which act as a team they are team up to act as an antioxidant and prevent the oxidative stress it is not a one single ye puri slide mein mujhe yahi kehna tha kuch ki bhai strawberry maine ek cup fresh strawberry kha li agar gujarat mein available hai to nahi hai तो मैं तो गुजरात में अवेलेबल आमला है मैंने एक आमला खा लिया और उसके जगह मेरा बेटा आमला नहीं खाता तो मैंने उसको विटामिन सी की टेबलेट ले ली इज इट सेम नो इट इज नॉट सेम इट इज अ टीम ऑफ फंक्शन ऑफ द फूड फ्रेश फ्रूट और अ फूड और अ वेजिटेबल दैट गिव्स एन एंटी ऑक्सीडेंट प्रॉपर्टी नॉट अमिकल कंपाउंड विटामिन ई है वो सेवन डिफरेंट केमिकल कंपाउंड में अवेलेबल है ठीक है तो सभी सेवन तो नहीं बनाए जो सप्लीमेंट उसकी जो कैप्सूल्स आती है उसमें देर इज वन ऑफ द केमिकल कंपाउंड इज टेकन अप विच इज इजीली मेड अप इन द लैब एंड देन इट इज मार्केटेड इट इज अ मेजोरिटी टाइम आई सेट दैट दिस फूड फेड्स आर अ मार्केटिंग 
जो फूड इंडस्ट्री बहुत बड़ी इंडस्ट्री है I do. I I have just read something, but if some of the experts who are with the food industry, they may be knowing, and they themselves in their home they don't bring that supplements. जो हाँ पे जो industry में काम करे, उनकी खुद की company में बनाओ वो घर पे नहीं लाएंगे. मैं मेरे कितना भी मेरे मुझे इतने सारे samples आते हैं multivitamins के कि but I never use that samples because we know that if it is naturally available, why do we go for a chemical compound unless it is there na as necessity and there is a iron deficiency anemia then yes we need to give them yes in a nutrition because our diet is rain, not a rainbow diet as a pediatrician i have to tell the parents ki unko uh, when they uh, when your kids are in your under 5 at least year mein te, uh, teen mahine unko iron do unko uh, 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 like uh, give vitamin c but when the food natural foods are available i always says go with that what is see when i have to advocate when i have to advise most of the time we do advocacy we don't do advice advice someone has given i have to follow advocacy i share my experience i share my knowledge and they have to whether it is up to them they have to uh, accept or not so when parents comes to me for their uh, kids nutrition i said these are the things available in the uh, fresh fruit food vegetables and these are the chemical compounds if there is deficiency yes you no need to go for a vitamin b12 injections and uh, supplements uh, and treat that is a treatment then vitamin c tablets or iron tablets but if you are healthy try to have a rainbow diet in your uh, diet rainbow pattern and from uh, try to grab from the natural uh, components natural uh, compounds the uh, natural uh, foods available so again the same slide don't rely on the supplements maine supplement le liya hai isliye aaj main ye nahi khaungi to chalega mere plate mein aaj salad nahi hai to chalega that it is not an option it is not an option you need to have a well balanced diet single oxidant nahi it doesn't work it is a team work it requires a other medical uh, chemical com- uh, natural chemical compound so what is the bottom line the bottom line of an antioxidant is that it never give rise to a disease it, they are always rewarding the first starting line of my slide okay excessive free radical contributes to the chronic disease the free radicals are generated because of uh, cell metabolism because of the environmental factors and these free radical leads to a lifestyle disorders heart disease cognitive decline itli sharp memory ati uh, papa ni but i don't know what happened to papa nowadays is he not able to remember the things so there is a cognitive decline we are using this words in the our day to day life right if you have come across your family members so that is nothing but a, a lifestyle disorder or a aging process which has been uh, maybe a age appropriate and in some families it is because of the oxidative stress this does not automatically means that the substance with antioxidant properties will fix that problem as i said we need to have a natural compounds together okay there is no studies conclusively says ke oh, a single antioxidant is a like sab dardo ki dawa hai aisa nahi hai so antioxidants may have a anti inflammatory cardio protective and neuro protective effect but try to consume by a uh, various balanced diet various fruits and vegetables to optimize your antioxidant intake always have a balanced rainbow type locally available diet don't rush for the fruit which is not grown over here which is not available over here so this was my Uh, uh, ex- uh like research as well as experience sharing on antioxidants i have used this references so uh, aaj ka session hum yahan par hi conclude karte hai and uh, i really thank you very much uh, shwetal ma'am for uh, connecting with us and uh, taking such a wonderful lecture on antioxidants and uh, 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 today's take away message from you should be that uh, we uh, should all include more fruits vegetables and all the natural uh, food items into our daily diet 
so that we get more antioxidants and uh, which is which are very good for our health uh, so thank you ma'am and uh, thank you to all the members for joining in uh, the monthly meeting and uh, we will meet again the next month so till then uh, wish you a very healthy and holistic lifestyle thank you so much thank you